Welcome back guys to our intro to Demon Souls. We just did the character customizations and all that. Now we're going to start into the tutorial and watch the beginning cutscene of the tutorial, which there usually is a beginning cutscene right after this. So we'll watch that, get into that. I will shut up during all cutscenes so you guys can listen to them and not to me just rambling on. So let's get it started. I did change my character slightly. I adjusted his looks and everything with all the sliders so he's not that red anymore. So let's, here we go. Let's hit accept and go on. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of gray crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. Thus began the Age of Fire. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. Man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Well, that was awesome. I am really royally pumped for this game now little tip there on the screen but no one needs tips that was awesome I've seen that before on when they released the videos to YouTube and everything but it's so much better seeing it on my TV from my PS3 I am excited yes indeed the dark sign brands the undead And in this land, 
the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. me with the the burnt up face in the corner I don't look too good in there hello down there could have thrown a rope for me buddy all right so I think it's time to play and my face did not look too well I don't think I've done too well down here because my face looks uh Either I just totally screwed up on my character creation or that's, you know, just being down in the dungeon for so long. So let's see this. We're going to pillage this corpse. That nice man up there was so nice to drop a key. Looks like we already have a weapon too. It's uh, a broken sword. It's got like a three inch blade and the rest is just handle. Let's see. Oh, this is the tutorial area it looks like. I don't think I can open these other gates. So I guess it's just have to go through this tutorial area no matter what. This handle does work and there's a big enemy right there and here's the hope and I don't have to fight him with this little uh handle. I know what these most of these controls are going to be, most likely the same as the previous game, but there could be a few new things here and there, so we will read every one of them. Fatty. I'm not a fatty. These guys don't punch back. I'm killing them so cruelly. They don't fight back. Wow, look at that. You can actually climb a ladder fast now instead of like climbing it a foot every 10 seconds. That's amazing. Rest at bonfire and we'll cover our HP. Sounds awesome. So we lit the bonfire, so you have to activate it first, these swords in the ground, and then we rest at them. We get this weird hazy effect, but it's all good, so we recover all our health we have lost through our trials. Awesome. We'll leave, nothing else to do there yet. Need fleeing. Anything around this area real quick? Any items or anything to get because that's where I came through so I don't need to go through there just making sure there's no items in this little tutorial or usually sometimes there's health items or something you never know so we're gonna open these big gates uh, boss ahead that's fun so little sword big boss you know what let's just do it you know whatever happens happens Maybe they're just lying because it's empty. It is empty, so. Oh well. It's not empty anymore. Oh my god. I don't know where to go. Oh crap. Oh, there's a door. Run! Run! Oh man. Good close. I don't think he can fit through here, but he could probably break this whole place down if he wanted to. Okay. Let's just light this up because I think this is, works as save checkpoints. So you get to one, you count as a checkpoint in case you die. Don't know if you have to sit at them to actually activate them, or you just have to light them. There's a guy right there. It looks like an item. Oh, that could be my shield right there. So I'm going to run out here real quick. Maybe hopefully, yep, shield. Awesome. I assume it's just the same as Dean. Yep, it's in our start menu here. That's our items, and this is our inventory or our equip slots. Equip our leather shield. Nice. Finally, can block these arrows. Uh, I 
tried to get him, I couldn't. Let's see what we got. Oh, good thing I didn't decide just to pass that up and go for him. You never know, I could have forgot about it, and I would have just totally forgot about my weapon there, which I'm so glad to get so I don't have that broken handle anymore in my hands. I don't know if you guys notice this, but this looks pretty cool if you run and hit circle like you roll, like you, you actually do a jump while you're running into a roll. It's pretty awesome. Go through this thick fog gate. I guess they don't want you seeing through them anymore. Seeing what's on the other side. There's, like, there's a guy right there. I don't know if that's the guy who saved us. Looks like a knight. Obviously basic controls still. Need resignation. There's an item there. I don't know how you get that item. Is there maybe perhaps to do with tendencies or something? We will find out eventually. I don't know what that item is. But we'll skip it for now. Who cares about items? I'm no loot whore. Well, technically I really am, but... Now there's something over here. Can we go this way? It's just someone uh, putting down a sign just to put down a sign. Try to get people to walk areas. Let's see. Well, we open this, and this looks back to this area where this bonfire is. All right. So this gate must have been locked from that side, I think. So let's go upstairs here and see what we have. And what we have is a giant boulder rolling into our face coming out of the darkness. Danger zone would have been helpful down farther down the stairs. This is locked. Alright, so no enemies are dropping items. Maybe they don't in the tutorial level and let's see, so that's just down there. Wait, oh, there's a hole here now. Look at this. That ball put a hole. And here's our little knight dude. Let's talk to him. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? I don't know, should I hear him out? Or should I just, just say no and walk away? I'll be nice, he saved me. I'll listen. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask, an undead favorite. Ooh, I get five flasks. I wonder what those do. Oh, and this. And the key. Thank you, kind sir. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. Well, I think I thank him for that key and those flasks. Okay. He just says anything, so he's done. So you get killed? Can I see him get killed? Well, well, now he got killed. He does it on his own. Takes his own life. Do I get a soul? Oh, I do get a hundred souls from him. How nice. So he gave me a key, so I'm going to assume it was this gate right here, because I don't see any of the locked gates, or I didn't see any. So we're going to open that gate. You know, we'll two-handed, obviously. I always like wielding weapons two-handed. Left stick plus R1, kick. Left stick plus R2, jump attack. That's crazy, look at that. You tap both at the same time and it goes. That's awesome. Well we're gonna end you we're gonna end it right here, this video, right here with this awesome spinning kick. And I guess this is gonna go three parts for a little tutorial introduction. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for the greatest 
and latest, you know, whatever word you want to say that for uh, Dark Souls videos, to come to you guys daily for the entire playthrough. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in part three.